All right, let's go over Salesforce restriction rules. And so this article is super helpful. Um, restriction rules are only available for custom objects, external objects, contract tasks, and events. And so really quick what restriction rules are. So if we look at the basic sharing model before restriction rules, um, you start with the baseline object permissions with the profile and permission sets. And then there's org wide defaults that open up sharings to record. And then you go to role hierarchy that shares records vertically. And then more sharing rules will open up record access laterally. And then manual sharing lets you share all over the place. It's flexible. Um, so this is before restriction rules. And now with restriction rules added, um, you can, it, it's really helpful and helps you filter who can view what records. Um, and so we're going to jump in and do an example. And so for this example, we're going to say that there's a company that has a bunch of different departments. There's a sales department, there's a service department. And um, for a specific contract object, um, this contract object is shared between all of the different departments. But we're going to say that we only want the sales department to be able to look at contracts that are in the approval process. And so we're going to create a, a restriction rule that only allows the sales department to view those specific contracts. So we'll jump into setup. And we'll go to object manager and go into contracts. Restriction rules. So we'll just call this sales department Oops. it'll be a user criteria then we'll do department equals sales and then we'll do status is equal to in the approval process. And just like that, we've created that restriction rule. 